one. Hello guys and welcome. It's Leon Street and it is Wednesday and we have another edition of Whiteboard Wednesday and I've got a real cool topic today. It's actually a topic that I often get asked about Facebook ads and I'll reveal the title exactly in a moment if you can't see all already. I just want to shout out everybody on Instagram. How you doing on Facebook in our Business Owner Elevation community, which is our free group. So if you're not in the group, everybody watching on Instagram, get yourself over to Facebook and join the Business Owner Elevation community. And everybody watching this video as part of our private collection, hello and welcome to you. It's Leon Street from businessownerelevation.com. Today's title is a simple Facebook ad strategy you can use to increase visibility. And in particular, if you're a cultural consultant, this is for you. If you're a business owner, this will still apply because we've had many successes with niches in the B2B space, the B2C space, and in particular with coaches, but this is really gonna work wonders for you no matter what you're doing in your business, and it is all about visibility. Why am I talking about visibility? Because the biggest killer to your business is obscurity. People don't know you exist. They don't know your products are out there. They don't know your services are out there. So what does that mean? you're not selling. If you're not selling, what does that mean? There's no cash coming into the business. What does that mean? You have no business. Yeah, you have something that is pulling you down, dragging you down. And this is all about another strategy that you can implement in order to take your business to the next level. Who is this going to work for? This realistically is going to work for somebody who has a marketing budget a predefined budget that they can invest into marketing consistently and in particular on Facebook ads. Why is that? Because it's not one of those one shot, one trick pony type of tactics that you can use. It's something that you really got to have a budget for that you use continually because actually getting out of obscurity is all about continual visibility to your ideal customer, to your target audience and that's what this is all about. So I'm going to reveal to you this simple Facebook ad strategy that you can use. It will also work if you're marketing yourself on places like Instagram. It'll work perfectly well on there. But in particular, Facebook ads is what I'm talking about because actually Facebook ads obviously control the ads that appear on Instagram as well. If you guys are watching this live, give me a hashtag live. If you're watching this on replay, if you're in our Facebook group uh, and you're watching this on the Leon Street profile as well, give me a hashtag replay. If you have any questions at all whatsoever, I've got Adam behind the cameras. He is checking as well if you've got any comments and he, you know, he can let me know if we've got anything that I need to answer for you guys as we get into this. So let's move into this, guys. The main thing that I'm, I'm focused on is, that, as I said, obscurity. Obscurity is the biggest killer and visibility is all about becoming, even if it's just for your niche, omnipresent where people see you. They see you everywhere, popping up on videos, ads, that you're just in their timeline, you're in their life, and that's an important thing for people to keep you top of mind and therefore remember, oh, actually, this particular person can help me with this or this particular company solves that problem that I have. And I'm making some assumptions here today. The assumptions are you understand about having the Facebook pixel installed onto your website or your landing pages. The Facebook pixel, to break it down in layman's terms, is very simple. It's a little piece of code that you stick onto your landing page or onto your website, which allows Facebook to track any visitors that come to your website. That code can also be used to track people who view any videos that you um, happen to put onto your Facebook page or put into your Facebook ads. That simple. It's just a piece of code that gives Facebook all of the data that they need to track so that you can use it to your advantage when it comes to Facebook ads and marketing. I'm making another assumption here. You understand what direct response is all about. Direct response is when you put an ad or an offer or some type of marketing message out there, you want to get a direct response from your target audience who it's intended for. So they act. So either they go to an opt-in page, either they perform some action that you've asked, maybe engagement, like a like, a comment, a share. You're asking for some type of response and that's important. Maybe you're actually asking for a purchase. Yeah, and that's another one. Ka-ching, money in the bank. And that's what direct response is all about, getting a response from your marketing. If you're in the game of brand awareness, probably this isn't going to be the exact thing that will work for you, but actually the first part of the strategy will work perfectly for you because actually it's all about the visibility, brand awareness. 
but you know what i like to focus on money in the bank not just awareness actually can we capture leads can we get a sale that's the, the most important thing from my perspective when i'm working with coaches because look you cannot afford just to run marketing campaigns that just put your your name and your message out there without actually getting sales in so that's what this is all about so those are my first assumptions second part three key areas that i want to focus on in particular with the training and actually do have some trusty notes down here to remind me of the things that i do want to mention for you guys so i don't forget and i remember so the first thing is you've got to understand when you're running facebook ads and if you've never run facebook ads ever before simply go to facebook.com forward slash ads once you visit that link it will take you to the ads manager and that's where you can start to create your first Facebook ads campaign and you'll have to install your pixel if you don't know how to do any of that go to YouTube or go to Facebook uh, sorry business.facebook.com they've got lots of help videos either on YouTube or on Facebook of how to create your ads so big assumption you should be brought right up to speed where you can just run your ads okay so the first thing that you've got to understand is when you run ads Facebook gives you some options with the type of ad objective now if we keep in mind that direct response is all about capturing a lead or getting a person to take some action let's say that the objection is to get a lead or a sale yeah so with facebook i, I forgot how many exactly they've got about 10 ad objectives or campaign objectives that you can run in particular there are two two that i want you to to be fully aware of you have a video views campaign objective and then you have a conversions campaign now these two are very important and the reason being that they interact and correlate very powerfully together when it comes to increasing visibility and as you can probably guess video views is you putting together some kind of video where i'll just do so we've got the play button there this is to represent obviously a video but this allows you to go out to many different types of people who watch your video we can turn them into people you can see my great artistic skills these are meant to be real people watching this video anyway so people watch the video and off the back of the video you're going to do something in particular which is attract views you've probably seen it when you watched a video on facebook um you can probably see the stats underneath how many views a video has and look a quick thing i want, want you to bear in mind if you're targeting a niche a small niche your video doesn't have to have thousands and hundreds and tens of thousands of views you might have a hundred you might have 50 you might have whatever because what's the most important point to have views from the people who you're targeting your niche and so don't be put off if your video actually hasn't attracted loads of people because it might be intentional that you've targeted a very specific niche and that might be okay that niche might be able to generate you results but anyway the key is to get in front of the right people once you've got in front of the right people you want to use a, a particular feature of Facebook ads called retargeting and you'll find it's also a feature that you'll find on most common advertising platforms and retargeting is the ability that when you put some type of marketing message or video in front of an audience you can then retarget them with another marketing message or video why is that powerful because if they've watched or read or looked at a previous ad you're targeting people who are warm to your message already i.e they've invested some time watching a video or they've visited a link or they've just seen your ad yeah this is important maybe the person's engaged like they've done a like they've done a comment or a share so what you want to do is after you've got those views you then retarget those people with ads that are designed to get conversions to get the opt-in to get people to buy so these are the two types of campaign objective you need to be aware of to run your ads so the first thing is and i'm going to get very specific to this and then we'll move on to point two when you're running your video views campaign on facebook what you really want to focus on um, is creating a short series of videos so each video so this is number one and uh, number two and that might feed off to video number three and the reason why you're creating content is 
I'll get that right, number three. You're creating these videos to add value. You're creating these videos to warm people up so that you're visible, not so that you just pop up once in a while, but actually people start to become aware of you. Yeah, you start to build more trust as people watch videos. Now, just a couple of things to bear in mind. Your videos can vary in length. What I would say to you is probably when you're first starting with your ads, focus on videos that last around about 60 seconds just to initially get people's attention, to, to get people interested. And if you're thinking you can't create videos at you know 60 seconds or whatever, then you need to think about your message because actually you can. Yeah? And in this day and age, people are bombarded you know, there's a lot of information overload. So you've really got to get in there and you've also got to think about what is the quick way that you can kind of disrupt. A lot of people start some videos on the ads where they cover up and they come back. So I'm just doing it on Insta and doing it on Facebook. Um, just to get people's attention. Some people might have something wacky at the beginning. They might have a weird uh, thumbnail, which is basically just a picture before the video starts playing. It's like literally fractions of a second. But what you've got to do is just think about what is it that you can do. One of the, the great marketers that I actually see online who really disrupts, um, I would say, their audience and what they put out is Billy Jean is marketing. They do lots of crazy things like they'll do musicals, they'll do dress ups, they'll do some wacky kind of races. They do different things. I think they had a Mario Kart um, ad advertising campaign once. And so it's your job to think about what are the things that are going to trigger people just to capture their attention at first. And that's really what's going to happen with your video one. So you're capturing attention. And as a person sees this video, yeah, what's happening is you'll then, and I'm going to get into this in a moment, you'll start to capture these views so that you can then create another video that because they've watched this video, they can watch two, they can watch three, and then ultimately you're moving them to, and I'll just put this one here, this is conversion. So at this point, you're then running a conversion campaign of some sorts, and the conversion campaign is probably we're sending them to a landing page. And on the landing page, we're asking or hoping to generate a lead or a sale. Yeah. So this is pretty much just the outline. Yeah. So hopefully everybody, you're following that. Have we got any questions, Adam? Just checking. All right. Great stuff. Guys, remember, if you do have any questions, just let me know. So the first instance is campaign objective. And we have two. So stick to these two because these are going to be the ones that... I would say mostly you're going to use. I've seen a lot of people who do um, traffic campaigns where they're getting link clicks and they're like spending hundreds, thousands and they're like, things aren't really working. And the thing is with link clicks, it's just direct traffic. It's not like you're generating warm traffic, but I'm going to get into that in a moment. So anyway, let's just kind of um, move on to point two. I'm just going to separate this for the moment just so it makes it easy for us to see. So now you understand we've got campaign objectives and we're going to increase visibility by creating video views videos as i said focus on like 60 seconds and as you move people along in the timeline i.e watching more videos you're probably going to go up to anything from four to ten minutes and this is going to be good because that means they're spending more time with you they're, they're building more trust know you like you trust you get them to buy from you right Audiences, really important step this one now because the first step is just you being able to create views. Then you're targeting people to get them to convert. And a convert means, as I said earlier, a lead or a sale. Audiences are how do we capture the, the exact people that are watching the videos? How do we capture the people who are actually landing on our landing page? Which is really powerful because wouldn't you like to be able to target the people who viewed your videos? Would you like to be able to target the people who've actually touched or been on your landing page but didn't opt in? So they took the time to visit, but they didn't opt in, you didn't convert them. So wouldn't it be cool if we could retarget them, bring them back into our marketing campaign and get them with another message? Maybe they just needed a bit more convincing, a bit more warming up. And actually, wouldn't it be cool if we had access to do that? Well, you do. In Facebook, you have an option in your ads manager called audiences. And in audiences, you can set up different audiences. So you can set up saved audiences. And saved audiences are what I like to call cold. So it's kind of like building an audience of interests, age, um, gender. It might be location. So different things, different attributes that allow you to create the potential type of audience 
who you think your niche belong to within Facebook. And obviously on Facebook, we've got something like 2.1 billion active users or whatever. So there's a lot of people on Facebook. Uh, I forgot how much of a percentage that is in the world, uh, over a quarter at least anyway. So what does that mean? We're gonna have lots of people to be able to target, no matter what your business, whether it's B2C, B2B, don't matter. They're gonna be there at some, some point. It's your job and your message to actually convince and get them to respond. You can also then set up something called custom audiences audi custom audiences are your best friend yeah so let me expand on that custom audiences so on facebook facebook can say well if you'd like to set up an audience of anybody who's viewed your video from your ad campaign let's say video one you're allowed to create it if you'd like to create an audience of people who viewed video two, you can create that too. If you'd like to create a, an audience of people who viewed video three, four, five, six, they let you create it. Why is that powerful? Because not only can you create the audience, you can create the audience based on somebody viewing your ad for three seconds, 10 seconds, 25%, 50%, 75, 95, how powerful is that? Imagine you have a 60 second video, somebody's viewed it for 95%. Is that going to be useful for you to then retarget them? Yes, because hopefully watching 95% of any video you put out there, that person's now warm to your message. They're also engaged as a reason they've spent that time to watch that video. So now, for instance, imagine somebody's watched 95% of video one, well then you can set up video two to then go after those people who've watched 95% and so on and so forth. The whole point is you're warming people up each step of the way to get them to convert. What does that mean? At some point, rather than just putting value out there, you're gonna put an offer, you're gonna get them to take up some type of offer where maybe you're giving away a, a PDF guide, ebook. Maybe you're running a webinar, getting people to register for a webinar. Maybe you've got a product or something for somebody to buy. This is where the conversion campaign comes in. So when you set up your conversion campaign, you are now targeting everybody as an example, it might not be this exact way for you. You might have two videos, you might have one, you might have three, you might have 10. But with your conversion campaign, you can then say, right, anybody who's watched video three for 50% or more, let's put the conversion campaign in front of them. So we will have set up a custom audience to say, track video three for anybody who's watched 50% or more and put our new ad that sends them to the landing page, the offer page, the sales page in front of them only. Why is that powerful? Well, you know it's specific to the people who've consumed the content in the predictable way that you wanted them to. You're building content exactly how your niche should come across your message. What's cool about this? Facebook lets you target these people for at least 365 days for a year. Why is that powerful? You can follow people, retarget them the whole year round. Yeah, and it's really good because it allows you to move people through your different funnels, your different campaigns, still by being able to put different offers in front of them, different ads. How powerful is that, guys? If you've not done this yet, I'm sure your mind's probably spinning already like, wow, we can really target people to that nth degree. And that's why I was saying, don't worry if your video views haven't got thousands, tens or hundreds of thousands of views, because it might be that, you know, you've got, I don't know, less than 100 people here, less than 1,000 people here who've watched up to video three, but they're highly engaged and qualified. So now you target these people with your campaigns, your conversion campaigns, custom audience, and this is based on, as I mentioned, um, I'll use a different pen, uh, video engagement. Engagement, make sure I spell that right. Yeah, which is all to do with your audiences. So there is a real key step, guys. So imagine that anybody who's touched your landing page, you can create an audience, a custom audience for that. Anybody who's watched your videos, you create a custom audience for that. So imagine somebody's got all the way to video three, you put in your offer ad, which goes to a conversion. They touch the landing page, but they don't opt in or they don't buy. Well, have a guess what you can do. You put them back into another conversion campaign that says, hey, we noticed you visited the landing page, but you didn't opt in or you didn't buy. 
yeah remind them you can even put another video in front of them and this is where retargeting comes into its own and this is something that you guys really need to put in place because you become visible you become omnipresent yeah stack different messages stack different series of videos videos that focus on the problem that people are experiencing the symptoms just different things put value 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 and you're targeting them in such a sequential way persuasive way emotive way you're going to get customers out of it so the final part as i mentioned was all about retargeting so with retargeting you just need to make sure that you are focused on what are the sequences how far along are people yeah so i'm just going to put here audiences uh, let's write that again segmented so the audiences being segmented is the key so as i said with videos you're going to be able to track you know percentages so i'm going to put seconds you're also going to have percentages and then you're also going to have how many people touched pages i think we have an ice cream van outside of our office ringing away so it's a bit warm i wouldn't particularly say it's ice cream weather but maybe ice cream weather is any time of any time of the day and any any temperature but anyway so retargeting is a must for you to increase visibility where else can this be applied it can be applied on videos on instagram and instagram you're you're only allowed 60 second videos so you've got to be really creative about what message you're putting out there um, when i was with facebook back in january earlier this year um, they flew 250 of us out specifically to a private event in belgium where they were you know telling us what the latest trends and things to look out for and actually put in place and one of the key ones is they said experiment with three second videos and you know for most people like what the hell can you put into a three second video but maybe it's just something that disrupts gets people attention moves them onto a 15 second video 60 second video it might just be you know what is it that keeps you top of mind but really start to think about what is the creative you know idea message that you can put together to attract people now look guys it's a very simple step but hopefully you've followed what i've taken you through but look i understand this can also be overwhelming if facebook ads if technology isn't your thing you're a cultural consultant and you know you really excel at what you do but you just like to have this implemented for you at least you know somebody to support you having this in place then what i would advise you guys to do is reach out to me so drop me a message you can do it on insta you can do it on facebook and if you want support visit this link so www.bit.ly forward slash talk to Leon. Let me put a little care there. So if you visit this link, what, what are you going to see? You're going to see a page where you can book in a call with me and my team. And we'll help you to lay out a plan of how you can become more visible and omnipresent in your marketplace using Facebook ads and some other cool uh, strategies and channels that we use in order to generate more leads for our clients look the reality is that when you're in business you need a special type of somebody who's been there somebody who can hold your hand or at least point you or your team in the right direction I know what it was like when I didn't know what to do so what did I do I invested in a coach I invested in a mentor and that is the fastest way to accelerate where you are rather than wasting any more time trying to do it yourself download freebies jump on webinars try and patch things together and actually what you end up with is something that is an incomplete jigsaw puzzle and you can't actually get the results that you desire and you're left scratching your head thinking why not facebook ads work for me why doesn't my marketing message work what is it that i'm missing well that's what we help our clients to do so guys visit this link bit.ly forward slash talk to leon go to the page fill in your details book in a time to speak with me I won't bite, I actually I'll hug virtually. We'll jump onto a Zoom call and I'll share with you the three key steps you need to have in place for your coaching business to actually be accelerated and move to the next level. So it's Leon Street from Whiteboard Wednesday, or actually on Whiteboard Wednesday from businessownerelevation.com. If you enjoyed this guys, please share this video. If you enjoyed this guys, give me a thumbs up, give me some hearts, give me some likes. And finally, Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care.